Hello, I'm Jan Mulvin. You're watching the Red Men TV. Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm joined in the studio by Mike Atkinson. Thanks, Paul. You have all the good games, don't you? Yeah, fucking hate you. <laughs> um, yeah, Liverpool slumped to a 2 0 defeat away from home at the Sports Direct Arena. That's St James's Park to anyone who's ever followed football in their lives. Um, <laughs> Yeah, another terrible, terrible game as a Liverpool fan. Let's get into your Facebook comments before we start picking it apart. Don't Mike, do you want to yeah. lead us off? <laughs> there was a running theme with a lot of ball, wasn't I there? Think, I think there is, yeah. But uh, Andy Forrester, he said, yet again, we were tosh. We played with no creativity and no desire. Carroll could have got us an early goal, but instead he decided to apply for the Olympic diving team. <laughs> and to make it worse, Everton are now above us. <sighs> Wonderful. Uh, yeah, Stephen Whitehouse says, didn't think it was possible, but that was even more frustrating than last season. Out of luck, under strength, and lack of quality. Anyone asking for Rafa back can fuck off, in my opinion. <laughs> fuck off and find a new team, in my opinion. Yes. Strong words from Stephen Whitehouse. And, you know, I think there's a lot of strong words doing the rounds. There is, isn't there? Yeah. Um, some more from uh, James Costi Muria. Sorry if I got that wrong, James. Uh, I thought that was Dynamite pronunciation. Yeah, to be honest, honest with you. Yeah. I'll let it wrong. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, I'm sure he'll let us know. Can't win against Wigan at home, etc, etc. I'm sorry, but if Kenny doesn't get us top 10 and doesn't win the FA Cup, he should leave. But keep the faith. Justice for the 96, you'll never walk alone. But keep the faith on the level. Okay, well, as he says, you know, if he, do if he doesn't, yeah. you know. Um, uh, Robert Pike says, no imagination, no creativity, lots and lots of dots. Then too much reliance on Gerard, Bellamy and Suarez and way too one dimensional. It, it's funny we've come to a situation where we're reliant too much on three players, which should be should be a good thing in many respects. Yeah. Anyway, go on, your last comment for us, please. This Mike. one probably actually sums it up quite well. Uh, I like this one from Bayardo Murphy. It doesn't even hurt anymore. <laughs> That's how I feel to be honest it's, with you. It's two in it. I'm just gonna round up now here. Uh, David uh Pokonjak. Pokonjak? I do with some of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in summer, either Kenny changes tactics, or if he can't do it, he should hand it to someone else. Yeah, I think the general consensus, I mean, if you listen to the football phone-ins as well, if you're, if you're from Liverpool, obviously you listen to City FM or whatever, or Radio Mirror, right after the game, the football phone-ins are not pleasant, I'd stay clear. <laughs> uh, basically, the first two calls, just people calling for Kenny Dalgan, yeah. to either, to, well, to walk away, not to be sacked, to walk away, and I think there's going to be a lot of that. Um, obviously, we're not going to get. We, we, that's a wider issue. We are focused on the game at hand. Yeah. If you want to know a little bit more about that, we've, we've covered. We've done the great King Kenny debate on the uh, on the subscription show this week. It's an hour long special looking at literally the ins and outs of everything that Kenny's done, both the positives and the negatives uh, in 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 thorough. For those of you non-subscribers, it's good. It is good, it is very good. Uh, yeah, that's on there, the redmentv.com. Your first month is free, so take your month's subscription. If you think it's shit, then cancel it. Simple as. Anyway, let's look at the game. Uh, look, same old story. First 15 minutes, we were pretty good. Yeah. We could have been at least a goal up. Andy Carroll, I mean, he, goes, he does all the hard work. He sets himself up, wins the ball, uses strength power, gets in a position. What's he thinking with that dive? <coughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just summed it up though. We could have been. How many times have we said that this season? We get to the edge of the box and we run out of ideas. Yeah, but what I mean is that look at that. But the thing is with Carroll in particular, I know it's on his right foot, but any, 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 exactly. <laughs> stay on your feet. Just cut, cut. I mean, I can. I think my only thing is the mentality is. Well, he's getting booed. He's gonna. He's trying to be too clever, and as I said at the time, Andy Clever. Andy Clever. Andy clever. <laughs> Fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> Good point, we Paul. Wish. Well made. <laughs> Andy Carroll's not that intelligent, so when he tries to be clever, he's just thick, you know, and he's obviously thought, I'll go past him, I'll get the keeper sent off, we'll have a penalty, and then, we, you know what, we're totally in the driver's seat there, that's not your call to make, can Great just, idea and just theory, fucking yeah. slot it, will you, like, um, and of course, there was that controversial incident where it was a bit of a, it was, a, it was bundled, and then it ended up being handled on the line. Yeah, yeah. Again, some days you get them decisions, it's a tough one through a crowd of players, it's hard for the referee to see. Um, I think you summed it up during the game though, mate, when uh, <laughs> it's all gone wrong, yeah, it's gone wrong it? when uh, you said 
Suarez and Andy Carroll are the players who are appealing for it. Andy Carroll just been booked for diving, and Louis' reputation goes before him. So that's it. They're going mental. They're the only people fucking calling for the referee things. Yeah, hang on, I'm not having any of this and that. Of course, that's 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 bad. But it's a sad state of affairs that we're in at the minute. Um, looking past that, I mean, I have to to take some brief notes so we don't just degenerate into a slagging <laughs> match. Uh, their second goal. I mean, there's question marks whether it's offside. He's actually a country mile offside. The ball comes across diagonally. Does it take a touch? on the way through which would obviously maybe cloud the referee's judgment probably 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 not I don't know it's, it's the fact of the matter is it's stud yeah. he's, took it, he's, he's taken it brilliantly he's what can you do yeah. there um, obviously the big talking point for, from a Liverpool perspective Pepe Reina gets sent off now all those clamouring for Pepe to go Right, um, first of all, can I just jump in on this? Because I've seen a lot of clambering on Twitter and other social network sites for Pepe to go. Anyone who thinks Pepe Reina should go can fuck off. <laughs> Pepe <laughs> Reina is the best keeper we have had since Ray Clement. Clemens. End of. Yeah. It's a pronunciation fest this is today, it? isn't it, mate? Look, we're having a bit of that. Yeah. We are so shit. <laughs> um, once again, I've got to blame Kozel, uh, Peter Kozel, yeah. Uncle Dale. But no, the um, thing is, Pepe Reina. It, for me, I mean, you watch the replays back, it's so soft. What I mean, Perch, you tit. I mean, he goes down, he's soft as shite, isn't he? He took a pace from Glenn Johnson on Twitter, Perch. Yeah, but, like, but like, you know, I, I, I've, been, I've been trying to defend Pepe, but I think you're of the other the other opinion, aren't you? I think he's stupid. I think he throws his head in there, he doesn't touch him. Perch goes down like a cheap side, don't he? But at the end of the day, he's, he's throwing his head in there and he's made, giving the referee a decision to make. We can't appeal it because the FA, one, it's us, and the FA don't like us. And two, he's going to turn around and go, the FA will just turn around and go, well, there's intent there to headbutt him. That's it. But Pepe, if you're going to headbutt him, at least fucking split his nose. Well, this is it. This is exactly the same as, uh, as the Iron Robin one a yeah. few years back when he, he, he like, gently yeah. caresses Robin's neck. Robin goes down like he's been shot in the head yeah. and Pepe gets sent off. If you know you're going to get sent off, just fucking lamp him, Pepe. At least enjoy it. Of course, the problem that leaves us with is Pepe's going to be suspended for the semi finals now. Yeah. So it all just, today just felt like the house of cards finally came it's crumbling funny. down. And, you know, six draw on the camel's back. Well, six, <laughs> six defeats out of seven in the league. You know, it's like you know, it's all right because um, you know the last time we lost three games, but we haven't lost three games in the bounce since uh, two weeks ago. You know, and that's and before that it was eight, eight, eight years before we'd done it or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's nine and twelve now, though, mate. As well, that's but, the wider issue. But, we, but we're going to look at we're going to try and focus on a couple of the positives. Uh, and I have to say, those who obviously uh, have been slagging Pepe and they will be very happy to see a clean sheet for Jose and Mike. Outstanding. Outstanding. Punch. Didn't put a didn't put a foot wrong in net. Yeah. Very commanding. Yeah. Very commanding. Never Liverpool go, but that's yeah. what we need, isn't it? Like you mean, maybe like Steve Stone need... all over again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very nice to see. Uh, <laughs> I was just, I was hoping the only consolation I was going to get from that game was I just wanted an Enrique Weldy. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Like all goalkeepers like that, they have one amazing reflex save. You know, shows that our defence isn't quite as bad because we, we coped all right, didn't we? You know. No, I think there are very limited positives. I think. Yeah, for me, man of the match, the only man who, who looked worth his salt on that pitch was uh, was John Joe Shelby. Agreed, mate, totally. I thought he looks, he's got something about him, hasn't he? He's, he's looking for them balls in behind, he's looking yeah. to split the defence. It was something we said about Jordan Henderson earlier in the season that he doesn't dwell on the ball enough yeah. to wait for openings. He's very easy, he, very, he, he moves it on very quickly. Whereas Shelby, there's a ball, and I think Jed, we're not, he's offside, mm. but it's. The ball's perfect. It's, you know, it's, them, it's yeah. one of those type of passes where he just waits for the opening and he plays the slide real pass. He played that ball in behind the fullback, wasn't he? A yeah. lot. And I think I said it a few weeks ago, wasn't it? We uh, missed that player who plays in between the lines. Yeah. And I think Shelby's got that. Yeah. I am, um, but. And then Kenny goes and takes him off. I didn't. That was questionable. I didn't. I didn't get the the idea behind that. I mean, obviously, the thing is, you can't. We're in a position now where Suarez was awful. Gerard didn't have a particularly good game. You. Take them off if they weren't who they were, they'd yeah. be off. But you can't afford to take them off because they're the only world class, as close to world class players as we've got. And that's a dilemma. Kenny Dalglish looked a bit lost on the touchline there today. Like he didn't quite know what the solution was. Like twelve minutes to go, yeah. and you're making your double, you're making substitutions. The guy who did two didn't I? He reminded me of looking at Roy Hodgson on the touchline today. It, it looked like it was. Well, all he had to do was rub his face and we could have been back. Well, that said, that ago. said, I mean, Arsene Wenger looked like that a lot of yeah, times this yeah. season, so let's not, it's, it's all well and good to let's compare him to a, a shit manager that's looked full on on the touchline, yeah. but I've seen managers look worse and come back and come back yeah. from it. I think ultimately it's going to, it, people are going to call for his head, there's going to be a lot of that going on this week, and 
I don't know what the answer is. I think there's a fundamentally there's a lot of things going wrong at that club. As I say, we have discussed this in great detail on the website this week, so do do check it out again. Once again, it's the RedmenTV.com for the great King Kenny debate. Special. All those coming out, Paul saying Kenny's got, and there's a lot of them straight away that we've seen saying Kenny's got to go. All right, it's fair enough saying Kenny's got to go, but come up with a suitable replacement because I don't know if there is. I heard someone say he should go now. What 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 about that? that we've still got the FA Cup semi final, and I know everyone's going to say, "Oh, on this form, we're going to get Tom." Yeah, but we've been good in the cups under Kenny. We've been poor in the league since the new year, but we've been excellent in the. We cups. went into the derby two weeks ago on the back of three defeats. I know, and that's it. And we turned them over. So who knows? Obviously, we need to get a, we need to have a reaction to Villa. We needed a reaction today, and it didn't come. So that's the problem: is that we were sort of basing this on. I don't. It was fantasy football. We were basing the idea that we could go and get a result at Newcastle. Yeah. It was like it's a funny old game. Was how we were going to get through it, you know, by some sort of by hook or by crook. Look, it was all going to click, yeah. and it's not click. And I don't know what the answer is, but I think that you know, it's. The, I think it's a it's a combination of things. It's not just the manager. It's not just the tactic. It's not just the not being able to finish. It's not just the, the players. It's it's a lot of it's segments of all of them all pushed together, and yeah. it's just it's not right for Liverpool at the minute. But that being said, if we can if we can get a result at Villa. We got Blackburn after that, is it? And then the F and then the FA Cup semi final. It's not going to be a massively different story, but at least it could be a slightly more positive one in a few weeks' time. Anyway, we've got to hope for the best. Anyway, um, we'll be talking a lot more about this game on this week's uh, on this week's subscriber show, and of course we'll have a preview for Aston Villa coming up next week. So do tune in for that, Mike. Thanks very much. Thanks, Once mate. again, yeah. for coming in after a dark performance and joining us. Um, he always yeah. rolls me out for the shit game. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Payjack, Payjack in work yeah, again. Exactly. Yeah, perfect. Well done. Excellent. That's I right. actually feel funny. jealous. Yes, yeah. and I didn't think I'd say that on a sunny Sunday afternoon. Oh, there's a positive. The weather's been nice, hasn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Take we'll that. Enjoy. Take that. Take that. That because that is the only one you're getting from us. Oh yeah. And, and love follow Conquers t-shirts are awesome as well. So yeah. Get on them. Love follow oh, no. Conquer. <laughs> dot com. Yeah. Get on that, and at least you'll look cool if you don't feel it. Can right? I just say something before the Villa game next go, week? Go. Get well soon, Stilly and Petrov. Oh yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Give a shout out to Stilly and Petrov there. Hope he does get hope he does get better. Um, but we still want to turn your boys over next week. So yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Leave your opinions on the manager, the tactics, the players, all of the above in the uh, comments section below the video. And uh, yeah, we shall see you next week. Ta -ra.